Hey guys, today is Wednesday and that means ranting and raving. And today I'm going to be doing a two for one for you guys because I got some super fun new makeup products. So it's going to be kind of another beauty box today, but a smaller beauty box. So I got these three. Uh, they're the Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm. Now apparently, and I think this might be only in the States, but they did come out with like a, a special edition like queen line. They look super schnazzy. They're like brown and gold. Super fun. But um, I got Jam Twist, Plum Twist, and Toffee Twist. And I'm going to be going to buy more today because that's how much I love them. Um, I'm going to give them a 10 out of 10 because they're raven. They're awesome. And I would give it more than a 10 out of 10 because that's how freaking awesome I think they are. <clears throat> it's like a lip balm mixed with a lipstick, mixed with a lip gloss, mixed with awesomeness, and you honestly don't ever need to use anything else ever again because you can get them in all kinds of different colors. You can toss them in your bag, keep them all over your house. Like they're it it's awesome. Like I'm literally only wearing actually I'm wearing a bit of foundation today because I got a free sample. Which again, this stuff I'm buying today because it's awesome. It's the Ramel London um, Wake Me Up foundation, their new foundation. It's amazing. I honestly, normally when I put foundation on my face, I feel like my face starts to feel dry and heavy because I can feel that it's like clogging my pores. Not this stuff. It feels great. Like, it feels great. I'm actually really surprised awesome it feels. Anyways, so back to the reason why we're all here. These guys, I'm like, I want to sleep with them. That's how much I love them. Like, they're awesome. Like, this right now, I'm wearing the Plum Twist because I haven't opened the Jam Twist yet. And the, um, the Toffee Twist is like literally a nude color, so you wouldn't really be able to notice it. And come to think of it, you could probably mix and match them, like mix the nude ones with some of the other ones to make lighter, fun colors, but like you add a bit more to make it a bit darker, but doesn't get sticky and like stringy like gloss does sometimes, and man, I'm just like such a fan. It's my new thing. $7.99 this was. It was on sale because it's a new product, and uh, I think it's regularly $8.99, which... I don't like spending over $5 on those cosmetic products because I know that you can get the same thing, if not the exact thing, for cheaper with another brand or another store, depending on where you're shopping. So I tend to have a hard time, but uh, there are certain products that I will spend the extra few dollars. Um, the only lip gloss that I will ever buy is uh, Clinique Moisture Surge Lip Gloss. It's the only one I've ever found that's not sticky and stringy and goopy feeling and nasty feeling and actually lasts longer than like five minutes once it dries on your lips and that stuff's like 1950 plus tax and I bought two of them at Christmas because I was out completely and my son had chewed the other one and I kind of went a little bananas inside because it's it is expensive but they last for me personally they last forever like I keep I kept mine for like the one I had just before Christmas, I think I've had for like four years, and I finally just used it up. Like, I don't pay attention to the best before date with certain things. I know I'm supposed to, but I tend to wash my, um, like, lids and uh, applicator and stuff like that so often that I don't really need to listen. Like the oxygen doesn't get to it that much to like start creating bacteria and stuff like that. I'm, I'm pretty good with my stuff so I make it last a long time. So anyhow, that's for those. Now this little bugger here was $8.47. I thankfully had a $2 coupon because it's crap. I'm going to give this a 3. A ranting 3 because I'm... I'm... I'm upset with myself because I knew I shouldn't buy it. I knew I was going to be disappointed because to me it's just hype. Like they just suck you in because honestly the applicator brush looks exactly like five or six of the other applicator tips that they have out there for all these other kinds of 
wonky mascaras that they try to sell you these days. The bottle is shaped exactly, excuse me, exactly like some of the other mascaras they have out there. It's just the color that they, is different about this particular one and the name, obviously, because it's Clump Crusher. But funny story, as I'm putting this on this morning, because that's what I have on today, there's clumps on the brush itself. It's not supposed to create clumps, and it's supposed to remove them from your eyes, but yet there's some on the damn applicator. What? So, I would not spend your money on this, guys. Um, there are plenty of mascaras out there, even by CoverGirl, like that, the regular green, pink, and whatever bottle, the old school stuff that's like four bucks, like that stuff.